User 12209582861988 asks, how do butterflies reproduce? That's rather a long process. They have sex for a long time. Their joined abdomens are like 12 hours or longer. And often if you see two butterflies flying together, you're probably seeing the female flying because she just can't be bothered while the male is giving the present away, <laughs> the mineral present. But essentially the males puddle to collect some minerals and proteins and create this like sperm sac present. And they sort of like present that to the female. First, two adult butterflies have to find each other. And butterflies are very visual creatures, so they're, they're searching for each other using their vision. Sometimes they have pheromonal cues, so chemical cues that they use to, to get together. But these are creatures that do sexual reproduction, so they actually have to meet male and female. They physically hook up, and some butterflies actually mate several times throughout their lives, both the males and the females. And typically what happens is it's the last male that mates with the female whose sperm ends up fertilizing the eggs in the female. And then the female, loaded with eggs, goes and finds a host plant for her caterpillars, and that's where she lays her eggs, and the circle of life continues. Butterflies are gonna have sex, they're gonna mate, they're gonna lay eggs. We do find eggs all over the pavilion. I'm not allowed to have those eggs develop as my USDA permit only allows the adult phase of the butterfly's life cycle. We get this question a lot, which is, how come we can't have them released? A lot of the Lepidoptera are considered pests. As you may have heard, we have very hungry caterpillars before we have beautiful adult butterflies. A lot of the time, the caterpillars are the ones eating important agriculture for us to eat. By keeping all the butterflies inside here, we're sort of doing our part and not adding to the stress. The USDA wants to protect the wild ecosystem that we have in our community. And one way they do that is they say, hey, we're okay with you getting these pupa from Florida, but they can't be let out because they might have a parasite or the species might take over from another species and kind of push another species out. We try and protect our local ecosystem by keeping them inside. Just because they're in a controlled pavilion like this doesn't mean that biological cycle stops. Sex happens all the time. We try and curb that by not having any host plants. Each species has a different host plant that they will lay eggs on or over deposit on. For example, monarchs will only ever lay their eggs on milkweed. However, nature sort of finds a way and they are sort of stressed to the point that they will lay their eggs on pretty much anything. We had a giant swallowtail lay eggs on our orange slices we leave out for nectaring because citrus is part of the giant swallowtail's host plant family. And so they're sort of like, hey, this smells like an orange. I'll lay my eggs here. 